chapter 14 one hand and get uh, Galatians chapter this has a question to do with the, with the Holy Ghost having a bodily shape uh, Galatians chapter I was marking up not going to get that one in 10 seconds I want to says my little children whom I travail in birth again will Christ be formed in you where is that in Galatians 4 or 5 Where is that? Galatians 4 or 5? Where? 419. 419. Okay, 419. Okay, 419. Now back at John 14. Uh, John 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And the Holy Ghost in the passage is to represent Jesus Christ. Notice uh, 1526. When the Comforter is come, whom I will send to you from my Father, from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. All right, now come to Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again, until Christ be formed in you. Now one more, 1 Corinthians chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. 1 Corinthians 3, 17. 1 Corinthians 3, 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. There's no such thing as receiving the spirit of the Lord without receiving the Lord. There's no such thing as receiving the Lord without receiving the Holy Ghost. These people trying to get you to think when you receive Christ, you receive Christ here, and then you get the Holy Ghost later, or give you the bamboozle. The Lord is that spirit. And that spirit in John 14, 15, 16 is called the Holy Ghost and the Comforter and the Spirit of the Lord and the Spirit of Truth. He has a number of names. When you try to make them different, you get in heresy. Uh, God has some names. He's called Jah and Jeh and Jehovah and Lord and God and Lord God and Lord God Almighty. It's the same one. Jesus is called Emmanuel, Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, same one. The Holy Ghost is called the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter, and here the Lord. And on these passages, in my book, what I meant was this. In my book, I meant there's a lot of argument going on today about the King James Bible by people who don't know much with it. And uh, they, they keep resenting the fact the King James Bible called the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost. And they always want to make the Holy Spirit. And they say, why call it the Holy Ghost? Because a ghost, we think of a ghost as the spirit of a dead person. But that's what the Holy Spirit is. Christ died and was buried and rose from the dead. And the Holy Spirit coming into the believer is Jesus Christ coming into the body of the Christian. As many receive him, they need power to come as sons of God. You can't get around it. So I'd leave the translation exactly as it is and presume he has a bodily shape and that the Christian who is spirit-filled, that Christ is fully formed inside that Christian. Yes, sir. 